In this video, I'm gonna show you what I think is the easiest way to read Kindle books on your Kobo or Nook or any other e-reader device that's not owned by Amazon. It's a little bit of a process, but it's really easy, and once you get it going, it's gonna be super easy to transfer over books in the future, but getting set up is not hard, but just a little bit of a process that I'm gonna walk you through step by step so you'll be up and running in just a few minutes. Now before we do that though, I do just wanna kind of explain why this video is necessary. So Amazon puts something on their books called DRM, which is Digital Rights Management, which basically means that you can't read a Kindle book on a device that's not a Kindle, like out of the box. You've gotta do some stuff first, which is what this video is about. But I do just wanna tell you that it is perfectly legal if you own the books, if you've purchased them and you've legitimately acquired them, it's perfectly legal to transfer them over to another device, but make sure that you are following and observing all copyright laws and maybe even more than that, make sure that you are supporting authors who work hard and you're not stealing books or getting them illegitimately. Now with that said, you're gonna need some things that you probably hopefully already have, but just wanna be clear from the outset, you're going to first of all need a Kindle and a Kindle Fire tab tablet will not work. You're going to need a Kindle e-reader, e-ink device. You don't actually physically need to have it with you, but you do need to own it and have it linked to your Amazon account. You're obviously going to probably want to have a Kobo uh, to transfer the books onto at the end. And then you're going to need a computer with internet access. I'll be using a Mac in this video, but any computer will work and the process for PC I'm sure is very, very similar. And you're also going to need a cable that will connect your Kobo to your computer, some sort of USB-C type cable. And then on the software side, you're gonna need two pieces of software, well, one piece of software and one plugin for that software, and that is going to be Caliber. I'm gonna walk you through downloading that and getting set up on Caliber in just a second, but you'll need to be able to download a program called Caliber, and then you'll need to be able to download a plugin for that program. So. With all that out of the way, let's get right into it. But before we do that, I wanna say a thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot recently sent me their XR4 recliner, and I could not be more pleased with this thing. It is absolutely beautiful. It comes in two colorways. I chose the faux leather color. There's also a white. You've got two buttons and a USB plug that will allow you to charge any device via your recliner, but one button puts it into recline mode, the other puts it straight up. It was an absolute breeze to put this thing together. It came in two boxes and it took all of 10 minutes to fit the pieces together. No tools were necessary. I have it in my office and it's so nice to, at the end of the day, just pull out my Kindle or my Kobo or even a book. And I mean, let's be honest, there are few things in life that are more important than a big comfy chair. It's like a big warm hug every time I sit down to read. It's a fantastic experience. It lays almost flat and it even swivels a full 270 degrees so you can be comfortable in any direction. And the headrest also adjusts in three different positions, which makes it really easy as you recline and maybe watch TV or, I don't know, watch my YouTube videos or whatever you happen to be watching. It's made out of super comfy materials. It is a faux leather that is super soft and super sturdy feeling. Like I said, it comes in white or this leather color, and I absolutely love the deep brown color of this material. And best of all, it's free shipping. Where are you going to find that in this economy? So all in all, I'm I'm super happy with this recliner. It fits perfectly into the aesthetic of my office. So if you'd like to get yours or at least learn a little bit more about this great recliner and FlexiSpot as a brand, head on over to the link in the description below. It's greatly appreciated and thank you again so much to FlexiSpot. I'll have the link for Caliber and the plugin in the description below. So let's start off by downloading Caliber. So I'll be downloading for Mac OS and then I'll download Caliber. And while that's downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and find that plugin. The plugin, if you're interested in what it's called, it's called D, sorry, it's called D D R M plugin. And it's super easy to get started with this, but you're just gonna go ahead and download it. All right, so that has downloaded now, so I am going to install Caliber. On Mac, you just go ahead and drag it to applications. And then it'll do its thing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and launch Caliber. Okay, so I've got Caliber up now, and what I'm gonna do is go up to Caliber and then Preferences on Mac. Like I said, PC will be similar, but I don't know exactly how you would access Preferences on PC, but you'll find Preferences or something that says Settings, 
And then you'll go down to uh, plugins at the very bottom where it says advanced. You'll click plugins. And let me see if I have it already. So I have it already on my computer because it somehow remembered, even though I deinstalled Caliber before I recorded this video. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to load plugin from file, click that, and then it will take you probably to your downloads. So go to your downloads and then pull up this DDRM tools 10. And then you're just simply going to click the file. So it says installing plugins is a security risk, but we don't care about security. Click yes. And then it'll say, hopefully successfully installed. So, all right, sounds good. And you might need to restart to configure caliber, um, with this plugin. So go ahead and restart it and it'll spit you back out where you need to be. But now here is the tricky part, the part that took me forever to finally figure out. In order for this to work, you need to link your Kindle to Caliber. And the way you do that is by entering your serial number. So I'm gonna show you how you can easily do that. First off, you just go back to Caliber Preferences and then your Plugins. So you go back to Plugins and then you find the one you just installed. So click File Type there in the middle and then it'll be right there, DDRM. So then you click Customize Plugin. And once you click Customize Plugin, you're gonna get this pop-up, and it's kind of overwhelming, but you don't really need to worry about any of it except for the very top one, Kindle e-ink eBooks. So click that, and then it's going to prompt you to put in your Kindle serial number. Now, I've already got mine there, but you'll just click this green plus, and it'll ask you to put in your serial number. So how do you find your serial number? You can either do it on the Kindle itself, which is the hard way that I would not recommend, or you can go to your Amazon account. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how you can find it. You're just gonna go over to your Amazon account, amazon.com. So what you're looking for here on Amazon is content and devices. You can either just search it in the search bar, or you can go to your account and then look for it manually and then scroll down to digital content and devices. And then just go to content library, second from the top right there. So once you click that, it's going to automatically spit you out onto the content screen. And we're gonna come back here in just a minute. But what we wanna do is click over to devices right next to content. So click that and then it'll bring up an option for either your, you know, whatever devices you might have, but we're looking for Kindle. So click Kindle. And then it'll show you all of your Kindle devices. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, but just click one of these Kindles if you have more than one, right? Just click a Kindle and then um, it'll tell you all the information about that Kindle. And you'll see right there, third from the bottom, serial number. So you just wanna copy and paste that information. Just copy your serial number and then just go back over to Caliber and paste it into this box and then click OK. And then once you've done that, click close and then click OK again. So now you're all set up on Caliber. And I guess one thing I maybe should have mentioned beforehand is that Caliber is going to magically transfer this file into a file that your Kobo can read. It's going to, because of the plugin we downloaded, take off the DRM, hence the title DDRM, take off that DRM layer on the file and transfer it over to a file that your Kobo can read. How it works is not super important, but it does work. So, so let's go back over to Amazon and we're gonna navigate back over to the content tab on content and devices. We're going to look at books for this video and then you're just gonna find a book. So um, most of these are my wife's books and I don't know exactly which one she might want on the Kobo, but let's just pick one. Um, so find a book that you want Click more actions next to that book. And then it'll say download and transfer via USB. So you wanna click that, download and transfer via USB. And it'll ask you where you wanna send this device. Make sure that you send it to the device that you just copied the serial number for. So if you only have one, it's gonna be easy. But for me, uh, it was kind of a struggle to remember which one I did, but I did Dylan's Kindle. So the very bottom one there for me. And then just click download and it will download that book to your computer. And then once it's done that, you're going to go back over to caliber. You want to get out of, we don't need uh, this stuff anymore. We're just going to go back to the main page here on caliber and we're going to add a book. 
that we've just downloaded. So the easiest way is just to go up and click add books and then you're going to go to downloads and you'll see right there the book I just downloaded off of Amazon just for the summer. So you're going to click that, click open and then it's going to upload that book into Caliber. There it is. Boom. Easy enough. And then you're going to go back up to the top and see where it says convert books. You just click convert books and then this pop up will come up and then it'll ask you up at the top output format. And this is super important. So it's being uploaded as an Amazon file specifically, but we need to convert it into a file that the Kobo can read and understand and be compatible with. So we're going to change it to EPUB, which should be the very first option EPUB all the way at the top. Click that and then click OK and then it will do its magic. It's converting. It's doing the process. And there it is. We've converted the book to a file that our Kobo can read. So now what we need to do is plug in our Kobo to our computers and just simply drag over that file. So I've got my Kobo connected to my computer. You can kind of see here and it's giving me a pop up computer detected. So just click connect on your Kobo to connect to your computer and then it's all linked up. It's ready to import files or export files from the Kobo. So, all right, so we've got the Kobo connected to the computer. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to get out of full screen here to make it a little easier and I'm going to make some space. So I've got my finder up here and I've connected to um, I mean, I've got Kobo up right there. You can see locations Kobo. So what I'm going to do is just click this book, drag it over to Kobo and drop it. And it'll just upload to Kobo. Simple as that. You can see it's right there. So now I'm going to um, disconnect the Kobo from the computer and we'll see if the book is on there. All right. And moment of truth, it is there. It's probably not going to focus. And I actually picked a bad book to use as an example because my wife is um, a weird and bought the book for Kindle and Kobo. So that book was already on the Kobo. But you can see I've got two versions of the same book uh, on the Kobo just for the summer. And when you click it, this is the Kindle imported version right there. It will be in color. No problems. It reads perfectly fine. The format is all good. If I can click the button correctly. It's probably blurry, but it's there. The book is there. So the good news and the bad news. Firstly, what the good news is once you've got Caliber set up, this is a breeze. As you saw, you just download the book, drag it into Caliber press a button and then drag it over to your Kobo. It, I mean, once you're set up, it takes five seconds to do it. But the bad news is you cannot do it in bulk. So unfortunately on Amazon.com, you cannot bulk download books, at least that I've been able to find and then bulk upload them and then bulk transfer them to Kobo. Amazon just won't let you download a bunch of books all at once. So you've got to individually go through your entire library, download books individually, and then once you've done that, you can bulk add them to Caliber, bulk download them from Caliber to uh, Kobo and bulk convert them there in the middle. So everything other than Amazon side is super easy and smooth, but downloading books individually is a little bit of a headache. But that's the video. Let me know if this was helpful, if it made sense. I'm not tech support for sure, but if you have any basic questions, I'll do my best to help you. But that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.